हे गाइस वेलकम टू द डेली न्यूज एनालिसिस ऑफ 17th ऑफ जनवरी गाइस लेट्स सी द वेरी फर्स्ट न्यूज फर्स्ट न्यूज इज अबाउट द हेरिटेज साइट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी डिमार्केटेड अलोंग द महानदी रिवर एंड इट विल बी डिमार्केटेड बाय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड इंडियन नेशनल ट्रस्ट फॉर आर्ट एंड कल्चरल हेरिटेज दैट इज इनएच सो फॉर दिस गाइस सेवन टीम्स हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एंड दिस सेवन टीम्स विल बी यू नो डिप्लॉयड इन अलोंग द thousand kilometer stretch of this mahanadi river and this seven teams will consist of historians students and researchers guys these all people will you know search out for the intangible and tangible culture heritage that will be founded along mahanadi river means see there are still different tangible heritage like temples uh, play, play palaces and forts but these are not being studied so far right if these are being studied by the historians students and researchers then some sort of you know uh, evidence can be found that whether that they can be recognized as the you know uh, cultural heritage or not and if they will be at all be recognizable so you know these researchers i mean these all teams will you know fi- uh, give their final report to the government and government will decide whether that to be allotted as a you know cultural heritage site for india or not right and guys not only tangible heritage as well as intangible heritage like folk songs folk dances tribal art and craft will also be seen whether that any innovative crafts are found along this river or not right and it, uh, i mean regarding the indian national trust for art and cultural heritage guys it was founded in 1984 and it is an autonomous non governmental organization which is a non profit society whose main aim is to preserve the india indian culture and heritage all right and if you at all want to see the extent of mahanadi basin guys so this is the region from where the mahanadi arises all right and uh, yeah these are the basins of mahanadi this huge basin of mahanadi as you can see in this graph and there are few you know factual thing also i want to discuss with you that it rises from the raipur district in chatisgarh as you can already see in map and the main tributaries of this mahanadi river are seonath jonk hasedeo Ma- uh, mand ib ong and vel theek hai so these are the i mean tributaries of uh, you know this mahanadi river which is also mentioned in your geography book that's why i thought of discussing it with you here also next is about a board which is called central advisory board of education actually the sixth meeting of this board has recently be organized under the chairmanship of ministry of human resource and development and decisions were taken regarding the issues which were being raised by the state government now they under uh, this uh, board meeting guys actually a decision has been made on launching an operation which is called operation digital board by by the meaning all the you will be getting to know that what is what must be operation digital board right so in all school it is being said that this operation digital board will be you know implied within the 5 years and the money for this operation digital board will be jointly be undertaken by the central government state government corporate social, uh, social responsibility fund as well as community donations will also be taken for the implementation of this operation digital board all right and it is said that uh, after this operation the quality of education will surely be getting improved and students will be empowered with 360 degree of information with interesting learning experience since everything will be done on a digital board and teachers accountability will also be increased in future day in i mean future upcoming days right so if if you will read about this board guys so it was mainly established in 1920 but it was dissolved after 3 years in that is in 1923 it was got dissolved but it again revived on 1935 and till from 1935 till now it is still running right and uh, this is the highest advisory board uh, to advise the central and state government in the field of education and if you at all want to see more of the function then it basically reviews the f- uh, progress of uh, education in india from time to time as well as if the central government and or the state government ask uh, from this uh, you know board that what are the you know regions which is i mean what are the regions of improvement in education sector then this board suggest them as well as it's not that whenever they ask then only this board will suggest them in fact this board has a power to you know give the so motive suggestions to the central or state government also right regarding any sort of education question next news is about bbi and motor vehicle agreement actually it was a news because bangladesh india and nepal have agreed on the text of the operating procedure for the passenger vehicle movement in the sub regions under the bangladesh bhutan india nepal 
motor vehicle agreement that is called mba bbi and mva all right and it was signed though in 2015 but uh, you know it got struck in between just because of the reason that bhutan has said that we will no, not be joining to the process and bhutan had still not ratified this agreement basically see bhutan though has not ratified the agreement but uh, bhutan has given the consent for it though i mean it is being see negotiations are still going on right so you know uh, i mean l it will take time whether whether you know bhutan will actually agree on to this agreement or not but let's see what happens but still you know this is being proceeded uh, in ahead right bhutan has said earlier that uh, we are not going to join this agreement just because of the reason that since uh, through this agreement the extent of i mean the number of voter vehicle entering our country will become increased and since they will increase then you know it is not good for the environment of our country right because they are environment friendly country but still let's see what happens whether they accept or not and regarding the customs and tariff i mean under this water vehicle agreement what will happen is that like the, the, the cargo vehicles earlier they were not allowed to pass the borders say for example if the vehicle is carrying out some sort of product from india to bangladesh then at the india bangladesh border what used to happen was that in the border the cargo from india had to be you know uh, i mean they have to take out the uh, materials whatever they are taking from uh, india right and they had to pass those you know of goods or uh, goods whatever they are taking to other cargo and that will be the cargo of bangladesh government right and they then they will send that cargo they will allow that cargo to enter their country but if this agreement will be signed it is said that the indian cargo can directly enter the bangladesh right they won't be you know checked so much i mean they would be checked of course but you know earlier the kind of restrictions used to that used to follow those kind of restriction will not happen since the motor vehicle agreement has already been signed right so it is indeed said that you know uh, the regional integration will be enhanced within all these four countries if this comes in to force all right and as an institutional mechanism of for this regional integration will also be set up uh, among these south asian countries and guys uh, customs and tariffs will be decided on the bilateral and trilateral forum uh, trilateral forum say for example i mean if uh, india and nepal wants to sign any you know motor vehicle agreement that what short of uh, you know uh, the customs and tariffs will be implying on the you know uh, vehicles who's entering our country right so if at all they want then india and uh, nepal can you know sit together and bilaterally bilaterally also they can solve this problem and if india is sitting with some other i mean th if three countries or four countries are sitting then in multilateral forum also these kind of decision could be taken right it's not mandatory that in bilateral uh, forum only this decision will be taken right so anyways this was about this agreement next news is about an special force joint training exercise between india and u.s military forces and the name is vajra prahar right just remember the name vajra prahar and it is said that the aim of the exercise is to promote military relations between the two countries as well as Op interoperability will also be enhanced between the two countries main thing will be the tactics exchange that is we'll be getting huge tactics from the military of uh, united states of america right and it is said that through this exercise uh, i mean we both the countries will you know strengthen ourselves in the regions like counter insurgency counter terrorism environment and the main focus of this special operation will be on urban areas because the terrorism you know terrorist activities usually happen in urban areas right so it is indeed a very good indication between the military exercises between the two countries also next news is about iprism see it is basically an uh, ip competition which is being organized by the government right and uh, it is uh, it has been organized for the young creators right so it will it is said that it will provide young creators a unique opportunity to see their creations recognized on a national platform since it is a platform which is uh, you know given by the government right so of course if you know anyone have a talent then they can showcase their talent to this national platform and the, i mean 
they will be getting recognitions also right so it is one of the kind of intellectual property competition for the college and university students basically and uh, which is being organized by cpm that is cell for ipr promotion and management department of industrial uh, policy and promotion as well as asocham and erection india and uh, under this uh, forum guys i mean under this competition since you know different dignitaries will be there different stakeholders will be there so the knowledge about the counterfeiting and piracies will also be imparted to these you you know young creators right so that they will get to know that what are the threats of uh, you know counterfeiting and piracy see the threats uh hovers around customers as well as the company also see customers will be getting the duplicate material right in the name of the branded company and the branded company on whose name the material is being sold they will also be not be getting their you know money right so it is indeed loss for everyone all right and the middlemen take the benefit of it right so yeah this was about uh, this uh, news i prism next news a very big news actually actually the hud subsidy has been cancelled in our india right and uh, in india this hud subsidy came during the british period actually 1932 british enacted a port hud committee act right after which uh, you know this hud subsidy has been issued for the muslim uh, you know hud uh, goers who want to go to hud to the saudi arabia and consequently gradually uh, till uh, 2012 many policies got changed but you know the subsidy got increased and increased for them but after 2012 supreme court passed a verdict in that judgment guys supreme court said that hud subsidy should be gradually phased out within 10 years that is they have given the timeline of may 8 2022 as a deadline right but the government has done away with the hud subsidy yesterday only and yesterday it was taken means this year who whosoever has got hud subsidy that's fine they have got it but from coming year no people will be allowed to get hud subsidy in fact government is telling that this subsidy money which this year was around 20 200 crore right so that 200 crore will be spent on the minority education for the improvement of minority education because if education they are getting then they will they can improve their social status in future days right so this will be spent on that and uh, also few informations were given that how this subsidy were being used by these uh, you know hajj people right so basically they were getting discount on air india flights from india to you know uh, saudi arab and they were it also include assistance to muslim pilgrimage for the domestic travel means say for example a guy a muslim guy from bihar wants to go to saudi arabia to do this hajj right now from the bihar he will first go to you know mumbai so from for coming from Mum bihar to mumbai also he will be getting you know subsidy subsidized rate by the government all right so here also he is getting a subsidy and from uh, like mumbai to you know saudi arab also he is getting subsidy and subsidy will be for, for at every aspect from lodging to medical care to meal whatever they had every to every you know project uh, subsidy is being given by the uh, uh, central government right and uh, guys after 2012 order of supreme court the government has been steadily declining the amount of the subsidy offered to the hajj pilgrims each and every year but still yaar i mean this year the amount was rupees 2000 crore but anyways after this hajj subsidy got cancelled the political there occurred huge you know political uh, fight basically hai na and different political parties are coming and some few of the political parties are in fact alleging the central government the present central government that if you have you know done away with the hajj subsidy what about the subsidy that you are giving to other uh, you know caste people that is uh, you know if you are giving uh, you know subsidy regarding the kumbh melas in haridwar ujjain nasik and alabad as well as you are giving subsidy to mansarovar yatra who was take who are taking their yatra to the mountains in tibet right to them to you are giving then why to you are just uh, you know cutting the subsidy for one particular religious group only right so it is indeed a matter to be uh, you know discussed upon i mean this matter can be mooted right so we'll just read about it in the editorial discussions also but uh, yeah let's see what happens next next news about china has built world's uh, biggest air purifier and uh, china has basically constructed an experimental air purifier tower which is called the world's biggest tower which is of height 100 meter that is 328 feet and uh, it is called xiang small tower sorry xiang smog tower 
which is undergoing testing at present phase right and uh, the i mean how does this it work guys see basically the polluted air around the region will be sucked by a glass house can you see the glass house over here yeah this glass house will suck all the uh, you know polluted air and uh, when the air will enter this glass out then the air will be heated upon by the application of solar energy now since the air will be heated then it will become light and light air always move upwards right so it will go through this tower and in this tower guys multiple cleaning filters are set up means up if a polluted air is passing through the uh, filter then of course the polluted particle that is particulate material 2.5 and particulate material 10 they will be getting extracted from the filter right and they can be extracted out and the main and uh, you know clear air could be you know sent out to the nearby regions right so that's why uh, i mean china is deploying this world's biggest air purifier and uh, in the quality testing guys it is being seen that uh, at a radius of 10 square kilometer guys this has worked very well i mean the pollution level uh, around the region has got reduced to huge extent right so it is indeed a good uh, you know uh, sign and india can also you know deploy these kind of towers in our big cities like delhi next news is dip in under five mortality rate and this is the figure that we are getting from kerala actually the under five mortality rate recently the data has been released by office of registrar general of india as well as census commissioner india so they have said that under five mortality rate in kerala region has got reduced from 13 uh, per thousand life which was the rate in 2015 to 11 per thousand life birth right means presently the number is 11 per thousand under five mortality rate which is the lowest in whole india guys trust me because uh, you know it's written also the give uh, data are also given that in madhya pradesh it's uh, 55 well, then all over india's average is 39 whether the uh, i mean the regions like punjab maharashtra and tamil nadu have the figure like 24 21 and 19 and in that case kerala's figure is 11 then it is a huge achievement for kerala indeed and not only in this regard sector guys in infant mortality rate also that has also been dropped by 19 percent in kerala from the year 20, 2004 2006 to 2014 and 2016 and however the data released by the orgi that is office of registrar general of india has still found that though these health indicators in these health indicators kerala has done far better but in other indicators like gender divide urban rural gap so these are the sectors where kerala is still lagging far behind right like other uh, uh, like other states of india so these are the regions i mean this is the factual news which we have already discussed next news is about smart city summit actually smart city summit has organized by the federal of uh, indian Chem uh, chamber of commerce and industries and uh, in this summit guys basically different dignitaries has come and they have given the dialogue and bhashan what we call in hindi so they have given you know um, many announcements and they have also said that uh, up till now 90 smart cities have also already already been allocated and for those 90 cities 82 special purpose vehicles has already been formed and still 10 remaining you know uh, smart cities will be soon they will be selected and on them also work will be uh, very much i mean started very early right so let's see about this smart city mission that what they have said about it so they have given figures like 82 special purpose vehicle has already been formed regarding it and which is a step in the direction of achieving the government's vision to improve the ease of living for all by setting new benchmark and in the term of project implementation as a major player in digital revolutions means it is also said that since india is a major player in digital revolution and we are i mean it is being said that we are the technology superpower of the whole world then at that time we should also make use of this technology Anna, in making infrastructure for offices homes and public places now how the application of technology will be there in offices and home say for example i'm just giving you an example if we are by the use of technology we can you know deploy cctv cameras all right we can uh, you know in install any sort of smart application right which will do away with all the crimes in that is happening in the society this might happen right see those are not discovered i know but they might be discovered because technology is endless you can discover anything 
right so that's why this uh, smart city summit was being also so being organized and few of the facts all were also being imparted which i've already discussed with you and if you're writing any answer about smart cities then if you at all want to see the points at what points can be written on the on the this given topic then you can choose it from here guys i will not discuss because it is quite you know clearly mentioned you just read about it guys please Anna. and yeah means answer writing guys you can see it in an academy platform i'm just giving you a link to the english one and the hindi one also actually this is this uh, i mean in the in orange you will be getting the hindi one but in uh, blue you will be getting the english one and i've already uploaded three questions of each hindi and english if you haven't seen then please go to that uh, you know channel and i mean go to the link description and you can watch it as well as if you at all want to access from the pdfs whatever i'm uploading right i mean the daily answer writing pdf i'm uploading in the my uh, you know telegram link right so this telegram channel you can subscribe to and you can access those pdfs at a free of cost no one way is going to charge you anything right for this so yeah this was the all the information that i wanted to give you we'll meet in tomorrow's class till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to me guys thank you very much